Okay, ladies and gentlemen, today is April 14, 2021, and well, just as I was going to go and continue with this here to even name video three of three family crying for the sake of Putistan you can read here what Vladimir Putin Alexander Vucic had requested from Ljubljana Ljubljana is the main capital of Slovenia but when I say Ljubljana I mean the people like this that were involved in it People like this that have involved uh, gangsters, mafia, into the case. People like this that supported all forms of violence against me lies from the beginning of this case. Be it done against me upon return from Poland to make myself sure. Uh, and this through the family so therefore upon my return from Poland if I would ever get through Poland what to be done against me to destroy me uh, basically using a family a little bit more twisted it is that this individual here that you see here his name is a Peter Kopsch Peter Kopsch that's a psychiatrist who was involved since 96 in this case. Half engineered would be used for me to destroy myself. Now let me explain, let me give you a little closer explanation of what I have just stated right now. My mother did, did, she did remind me on quite a several occasions both of us with father and yet please watch if you have not watched this here please do understand watch these two videos to understand what this video is all about this is the part three of three i'm not going to name one family crime for the sake of putistan i'm going to name one basically what this individual have designed against me I would use to destroy myself, basically. Um, now this is really, really twisted. Twisted because of uh, my father, my mother, number one, have done against me. You remember the hospitalization in 2012 when I was hospitalized based on total lies? Well, it was nothing ever since but lies it was that in several videos you have nothing but what became completely evident were total lies released by my mom released by my father audio recorded video recorded don't worry about it I need to update a little bit this thing here. There were not lies that it would be without a recorded audio recorded, video recorded, recorded without knowledge of my father and my mother. I would audio and video record them. No, 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 no my mom and my dad had to comply with whatever this individual you have seen who acted against me not only he but as our other psychiatrists were involved in it this guy was in charge for the portion foremost upon return from poland very very sophisticated stuff a big brainwash took place all this stuff that I have built eventually would be used by Slovenian state as I stated as my mother stated me repeated me to remind me time and again to take the last resource of income away from me basically to place them inside of the home for elderly people which 
I was really surprised at the time it didn't got to me when I was capable to completely identify home for elderly people in the city of the Novo Mesto. I'd never had anybody in there, yet I knew everything about this home. And it's a lot of stuff that I have not even stated about this home. And that's what they played, I know about, because of the stuff I'm talking about, they played under MK Ultra. They had parents inside of the home. I would go visit them. Um, all kinds of scenarios. Uh, keeping me at home without the job, uh, doing some kind of videos and stuff like this, and so on and so forth. They contemplated and all, and totally, totally insane scenarios, like you see in a horror movies. Well, well, my the return back from Poland already meant, according to this booklet here, if everything would go well, if I would do what I did, and believe me, it's the stuff that I have not even released about the Poland yet. A huge problem for the Putistan, for the Belgrade foremost, for the Belgrade. Putin believed that he would assemble back Yugoslavia through this case, literally. He was very, very enthusiastic. And for that to assemble, I would have to literally, literally see myself completely against. I would basically have to totally rape, violate myself. See, be completely opposite, uh, completely, completely obedient. See myself completely eye to eye with the Chetniks in Belgrade. Basically, collectively worked, work, and against Slovenian people and against Croatian and Bosnian people and so on and so forth. That was like a condition. This was a predisposition for me to keep even my parents around. Because keeping me jobless at that point in time, I should say right now for Belgrade, not even that stuff is convenient anymore. The more the truth, the more the problems. For that matter, Peter Kopsch used my parents against me. That's when they would intervene. They always used them. And they conditioned them. They conditioned them literally with their well-being and with the family. That's why they involved the family in all this stuff. Everything that was done to me in the past, that's what Peter Kopsch did. That's how that will be done. Uh, all these lies that I made, I uh, published, catching my mom dead, um, they did so. Voluntarily they did. They had several psychiatrists. They had the psychiatrists that would be involved for certain things and they have a background psychiatrist. And the main background psychiatrist, the big overview psychiatrist to overview this case, that was a Peter Kopsch, the guy you see it right there. The guy you saw it. And for this final stuff that would go off against me, everything I have introduced basically would now be used against me by basically my pointing out even the stuff I have not pointed out knowing what exactly this stuff was used for okay now so if you go to this video here you're gonna see me especially in this part here in this part here two of three you're gonna see me presenting all kinds of stuff here You're going to see me presenting with all kinds of stuff here, whether the worst stuff, the proofs I was given in my hands by Peter Kopsch, okay, I did not present online, because Peter Kopsch designed the case in a such a way that if I would, I would have the social services knocking on the door and they would take really 
just as my mom tried to remind me of so many times before. They would take them away and I would be left and jobless and without any kind of income. That was basically Peter Kapsch's job. That was his main specialty. This is what uh, this man believed would accomplish. And for that matter, to be even more successful, to have the parties participate in it, they involved, they set my father up with the crimes, uh, with all kinds of stuff. Literally, they create an idea in them. It will be either them or myself. Either they would destroy me or that I would destroy them. My father became so stimulated in this stuff that upon my return from Poland, I would eventually encounter one uh, using a bucket where he would simply piss at night time. And this bucket, he would not even cover one or whatever. I can somehow understand that, but that you would not even cover and you would have all these vapors all over the room and stuff like that. Um, that was just uh, really, really bad stuff. Uh, so I would come in the morning, this guy would get up sometimes like at one o'clock and so on. And even I would be like all dizzy and fucked up. Um, for that kind of stuff, my father alone told me that it will everything depend on me, everything depend on me. It was the stuff he got an idea literally from the friend of his who was involved all along in the stuff and who used to work along elderly people in a home for elderly people. His name is Beto. That's said enough, basically. I said enough about that. He had experience with dealing with elderly people, with the stuff he had seen uh, was at times fatal for elderly people uh, and it's the kind of stuff they have injected inside of this MK Ultra scenario for which originally I must say was so insane that uh, I found myself many 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 times walking through the forest knowing that while talking to myself if somebody would observe me probably would think I am really insane. I am not going to be hiding to you. This is the scenario right here. I already have published. Then I have suspended one. But it's the scenario I'm going to take on it. It's also the scenario for which I was told should never ever be published. And if I read this to you, it doesn't look good. Uh, later on, what I'm going to do, I'm going to explain to you at the end of this video exactly what the hell this shit was all about. I think that they try to mentally completely disbalance me, uh, even test me uh, as per police involvement in this stuff. Police was involved uh, to see what type of character am I going to explain it. They basically, they gave a chance to possibility that I do possess some form of criminal character they could use against me, right? And with this, they would somehow get rid of me. This was all Peter Kopsch final solution for me all this stuff he injected a lot a lot a lot of stuff uh, in this scenario we have the stuff that my father acted like completely insane my mother would give him even huge large portions of food and stuff like this which he would with a pleasure consume uh, and according to MK Ultra he would die he would 
definitely by the spring he would be dead um, they involved some other people close to family and this stuff to make things more real as per why uh, this should be done and so on of course Mitya Weber Urska Weber that's my niece and her husband were head of this stuff and on other stuff uh, it was again you know some other stuff they have involved in it it's not even written here I was gonna put this stuff online but it was not the video already was done everything I have done it uh, it was not to be actually released to public yet at the time. It, it was really, really what Peter Kopsch, or this individual, the way this guy designed all this stuff, it was done in a, such a way that if I go to issue, this issue here, it was done in a, such a way that at first he would give the stuff that if I would publish along other stuff, al along the stuff that you see here, let's say that I find stuff like this, and I come from Poland with a very severe health issues, very severe health problems. So this was, this is like, they created like emergency abuse within emergency, basically, mental abuse within emergency. More likely than not, you would go and publish this, so like almost 99% of the people would go and probably publish piece by piece online. And if I would have done that, uh, like, if you have, let's say, if I go back here and I, and we go to this stuff here, we go to, let's say, how my father is, I don't know, uh, doing this kind of stuff here. So, look, this nausea. Rashid, Kaku, look, this nausea. No. Uh, mm -hmm. You can see how the MP3 player is broken by my father, how he beats the crap out of the MP3 player which he opened from my mail, which I just received, and stuff like that. So therefore, cops, psychiatrist cops, involved even destruction of the shoes, clothing, um, cables, everything you possibly can imagine was destroyed to me into this final solution and everything 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 for everything you can see you can see my parents in front of everything basically throwing themselves in front of everything well this is cops this is cops and for that matter i'm not happy with this guy if you understand me for that matter i'm very 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 unhappy with this guy here this is why i'm so unhappy this is why i'm angry with this guy So, when you think about the stuff like this, you would too find yourself jobless, looking for the job, applying for the job, walking around the forest and talking to yourself, trying to, you know, sort everything in proper sequence, your thoughts on how to see the things, because a little, just a little mistake, and it's like they say you're fucked no, not a nice person not a nice person and this is not a nice place these are not a nice people they don't take responsibility for the crimes they do uh, they just seems to look for all kinds of ways out you know if the worst comes to worse and then if you would not see if we wouldn't see ourselves, us, eye to eye with the Belgrade, in other words, if I wouldn't turn against Slovenian people, my own people, against the Croats and against the Bosnian people and so on, uh, then it would just be like this. Peter Kopsch, unfortunately, it doesn't end this stuff here. It doesn't end. Peter Kopsch had in plan not only home for elderly here he wanted me to destroy myself by literally pointing out fake uh, totally totally unreal also 
murders of people as with Chetniks brought relative from Serbia locals here they believed how I am gonna start next to the real executions deaths assassinations of Kremlin Belgrade here to also post deaths uh, for which it could be also totally proven that were not real this death here that you see right here another individual along his killed brother involved in MK Ultra case identified both again from Rotash however was real and I'm actually afraid that something was done to this brother so that something like this could get through per Belgrade Peter Kapsch visited Belgrade I know so he was very very pissed off uh, this counter intelligence idea this counter this kind of discreditation to the idea to discredit me the threats about my even mentioning anything in respect to Belgrade or Moscow uh, this kind of stuff started to boil in his on his upon his return for Belgrade sometimes I believe like in 2001 maybe something like that it was he was completely on his toes he was completely completely on his toes um, completely obvious that he became nothing other than tool of Alexander Vucic and Vladimir Putin completely 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 evident so what I stated having me stated what I stated right now I am gonna go to an audio recording in which cops okay let me demonstrate you need to see me a little bit it will be like this like I said immediate psychiatrist and the psychiatrist who was completely in the background you now a private clinic right of course he was a state employee and of course he opened a private clinic to cover up the whole thing drive we we'll take a drive along us inside of the car sometimes we we'll even drive the car walk next to us walk next to my mom next to my dad MK Ultra, they present you with issues along the walk along the drive cops presented the solutions the solutions is basically a brainwash on how I should perceive whatever was taking place inside of here whatever they did whatever the engineer along the family thing says he did not even worry about if I'm gonna be able to connect this stuff or not he knew something little about this MK Ultra. I think it was quite by then that kind of stuff 2015 just as you have seen he became he knew a lot about how human mind connects how you resort to the brainwash when you are trying to connect MK Ultra, and this is all related to the crime the emergencies he created he couldn't create worse than that like I said I was on a brink on the brink of going to the surgery gland notes, lymph notes I escaped for like this probably nothing good for me would result in that one they had a scenario known as from one surgery to another from one health issue to another here they fucking throw you inside of the grave literally just as an example you recorded yesterday and they use my parents they use my parents my father it was all kinds of stuff he he urged me uh, under MKUltra that 
you have to publish this stuff you have to publish this stuff if you are not gonna publish this stuff I'm gonna start to act completely normal and you're not gonna have a proof that uh, I ever acted as not normal and stuff like this and then you're fucked and then you're gonna go away and this and that this is the type of urgencies he used he, uh, for instance yesterday my father told me that in a sense that uh, I asked him he's, he said where is my uh, where is uh, it was something about where is mom and uh, he gestured me that she already died a long time ago no that she, she already died like nothing ate like uh, walnuts and stuff like this and just uh, stated something a little bit really bizarre about his wife basically on other occasions act like he doesn't know me you know that kind of stuff that's like completely regular then on other occasions about as it would appear and also i was explaining all these issues and how this is how dementia is you know sometimes that you are that you know everything about everything sometimes that you complete about the ba uh, forget about basic things and so on and so forth for the scenario yes about my mom the how how dead and this and that you should not talk you should not talk you shouldn't you shouldn't talk about the stuff like this because is I should listen to his advice uh, it, it dementia works if normal it works gradually but it doesn't work like this and then basically it drops down to a statement like this if you're gonna publish that father stated that doesn't know anymore uh, like thinks that his wife your mom basically died long time ago what well, that's gonna be like it's gonna be seen by the psychiatry that as if you did something to him and he did have he did have in place this kind of issue let's say he did have he have a multiple scenarios for every one of these issues for this scenario which I can tell you the mental patients that's exactly what they look like inside of the psychiatric hospital I have seen a lot of people like this I've seen myself doing the stuff like this when they force me into the psychiatric drugs uh, this is acting uh, or maybe not uh, acting because I believe it's acting because father and it's also what he told me the case would be whenever I would speak to my mom if he wouldn't like me speak he would just go and do start like <laughs> next to the stuff like that so I know that that's bullshit uh, it's a scorn it was a derision it was uh, Peter Kapsch's way not only to video record me when I suffered, when I was literally poisoned, when I was brought from the psychiatric hospital with Diana Polia, and I had a, such a pain that I told my mom that they should just take me back to the hospital. I don't want to be here for the weekend, whatever, because I had such a pain that I thought that I'm gonna just explode. My organs are gonna explode. It was a poisoning. It was not psychiatric uh, stuff only they gave. It was more than that. And my mom said, no, no, no. And I told her, yes, yes, please just take me, take me back. And it was like that. I was afraid I'm going to fall into delirium from the pain, from the suffering. You know what a delirium is? Take a dictionary, learn about, and that's when you don't know what you're doing. I don't know anything about that stuff. It was the worst two days in my life I spent here at home. And finally, I was super released when I was brought back to Ljubljana. derision, scorn, contempt for my pain, for my suffering that father displayed here inside of this home. Thanks to Peter Kapsch. Thanks to these people. Video record me how I suffered. Imitate me. 
and then even contemplating on using is American psychologist that was a Mr. Smith that X Daniel Smith told me watch out with this bullshit because they can say that you sipped him your pills that were given to you somewhere and that he consumed them and did something to him so that Peter Kopsch had a multiple scenarios for a crime against me against my parents too they became a hostages they became his hostages literally his stuff became even more real because of the pills my father got pills which the physician were like this blue pills those are the big ass pills I don't think I ever got any of those uh, which disappeared from the menu from the daily menu you know when I when I when I do the stuff like this the pills which disappeared from the daily menu once I published this news here when I mentioned the doctor the his doctor who was involved in MK Ultra before she even became a doctor a medical practitioner those pills all of a sudden disappeared from the menu and he no longer would act like this so this is the multitude this shit this individual involved in it you know, know that while I record this video uh, my parents are under those they're scared they don't know what's gonna come out of this stuff because it's Peter Kopsch that would be here right here telling me in front of them whether he would come forward whether he would admit or not like so many others before that this is the way this shit is on those because they don't know about how the state can act in respect to this stuff on those because of what cops Slovenian state have set my father with many many reasons why on those and it's the reasons that cops presented them as ultimately solution against me basically condition them either and it's what also in the recording that you are about to hear you will understand more from what I should never otherwise state to you tell you about uh either them or myself this is going to be the recording i am going to go ahead i am going to play you um this is the recording that completely confirms that my father was like totally on a in a state of mind that for which he believed it's either going to be just like he told me under MK Ultra, it's either going to be you or it's going to be me. And under MK Ultra, I would not understand any of it because I never wanted to have anything to do with any of this stuff. But it did became completely obvious, evident to me why that. Why. According to outstanding nurse Andrea, Andrea Yerich from Psychiatric Hospital, Ljubljana Polia, making a mistake. She did help me out tremendously. She did a clip. You already were presented in a part number one of this series, which this one I pledged. I'm gonna title one different from this two. But yeah, I think already in part number one, if you would go here, uh, you would hear me talk about the gas bomb with mom 
pitanje brz veze treba se govoriti, ne biti ne nešto opet. Ja se jebe, no ono sve ne bo da se pitao i se tu. Uh, that was about the gas bomb I had to place in the car, carrying the car once I already pulled the car out. Uh, according to to the nurse, Miss Andrea, if I would even actually even talk about this stuff, it wouldn't be good for me. Uh, she just. Uh, asked me to put like a little portion of it just why didn't you say before uh, when the car was still inside of the garage however this issue is first of all I don't have anything to hide I don't hide absolutely anything this is why everything I let everything go on the internet secondary This stuff is related to the stuff I'm about to play to you because I want you to understand how far did this return from Poland, what did Mr. Kopsch engineered, what the hell this would look like for me. The spine issue, you know, the spine, the breaking spine issue. He wanted to exploit that issue to full potential. Full potential. Full potential meaning that what you are about to hear, uh, this becomes like actually difficult to, uh, let's just say waste time kind of issue, not explain, but waste time issue, or rather not, whether is it personal, was it not personal, whatever it was. I don't think it was personal, I think it was, as I have already explained, I know for a fact that it was a Belgrade, I know for a fact it was a Moscow related issue, but an individual could easily take that personally. You know, this is this is the audio. He wanted to... Uh, he kind of had people imitate him. People he injected inside of the MK Ultra. That's basically why I'm saying is it becomes kind of personal issue, right? If I would go here, that was what you got. Tako, ako pridemo domov, moramo biti slabe volje. When we come home, we have to be in a mad mode. Okay, who came home? I came home. From Poland, I came home. And this guy here, involved in MK Ultra, got assignment to, well, replicate him, remind me, threaten me, basically. When I say threaten me, during stuff, that I would do. I would have frequently ambulance vehicle would run here through the village on another occasion. But on the opposite side of the river Kirka, this was uh, a normal. This is a normal standard. So personal or not personal, in this case, a spine breaking uh, is very, very personal. In this case, too, that's why it was really important for me to play that audio about that bomb because it's a it's a it's a whole chain of events like this that is being used that mother tried anywhere from me to cut the grass. She wanted me to do it in a way that would be like an old machine that would be used for the cutting grass that would be used, which you have to pull. Uh, to start one, uh, the motor, 
and when you do that and it's an old one and doesn't want to turn on and you're going to pull 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 with a disc like mine probably not exactly the best idea when you have a new one uh waiting and you parked inside of the garage or a lot of stuff like this but i don't have the stuff to play all that kind of stuff and i am not taking it personal against mom i'm not taking it personal against dad in this case however psychiatrist peter kopsch used help from mr beto this is man i have already mentioned earlier is the gentleman that was involved in mk ultra from very beginning i could tell about him when he still worked in ljubljana and so on oh my god probably a whole book about that too we didn't exploit any of that stuff and have according to his own words even evaluated test subjects on the MKUltra on how they would react uh, if they would encounter let's say father inside of the bathroom uh, half conscious or I should say unconscious uh, what exactly is to do and what exactly is not to do and it was like really educational Sergey from Belarus tried that another try that and then I remember then he would appear and then he would go and he would grade him he would rate them this one did this right that one did that right and so on and so forth it would be really entertaining except for that if you have broken spine this is not entertaining issue and Beto alone stated that well he gave an advice he gave a practical advice that rather than carrying him with a broken spine uh, rather than I don't know twisting yourself over the bed and try to put him like this on the bed and so on with a broken spine that you don't worry about it you just step with your shoes on the bed and you grab the person in position safest for yourself so you don't cripple yourself and place him properly in bed and stuff like that he gave a lot of practical stuff about what others who had problem with a spine and i really started to believe they do have that sergey definitely did uh would have done so to basically ease uh, the circumstances in a real situation of course call this bullshit whatever you want to call it it's a fucking game not when your spine was broken for whatever reason um, I actually think reality show well that probably wouldn't go to reality show to get your spine broken knowing that you're going to get one broken but when you are under mk ultra subjected to this kind of situations evaluated based upon other people that were evaluated prior to yourself this is this goes beyond personal excuse me and i am not sick dr kops is sick the people that invented this bullshit are mentally ill people this goes beyond mental ill shit. So it becomes personal in a certain way. I am going to play you an audio which was eventually even used pushing on a side all the issues I have spoken to you about and pushing on the side the issues I did not even spoken to you about issues that I did not publish anywhere I didn't publish them because my mom and my dad they probably would really come and take them away that's why I did not uh, publish them that's that was the final goal of Peter Kops so this shit is not in that sense so personal but the stuff like this actually kind of makes it personal 
he was very very personal during MK Ultra. He was very very personal. He was very very personal. I'll play you an audio in which like I said, if we push aside this stuff idea was uh, the whole idea really really depends on how I would pursue it, whether I would want to screw myself up, screw my parents up, lose even my parents in between which were lost anywhere in the fog for the last 26 years as a parent I didn't have a family, these people fuck me family up too, excuse me how the fuck is this not personal or could actually use this even at my advantage if I would have that much sanity I guess left and so choosing that second option I am going to eventually demonstrate to you that father indeed did fake this dementia issues Dementia, we say dementia, dementia, old age issues, which against, and again, I was also threatened with that if you will say that he faked this stuff, we will do him this, we will do him that. At the end of this audio, at the end of this translation of the audio right now which is going to be a really fast translation i will demonstrate you the whole mental game on how i should pursue this case at all from return from poland so you're going to understand why i said earlier that i would walk through the forest and kind of talk to myself to get stuff sorted out properly in a sequence in a proper order so that i would not go uh not such a biggie, but anyways, this is really nasty stuff, and I think it's kind of personal, very, very personal. Then what I'm going to do for the last, I'm going to play you one more time this whole audio, so you can get, well, just a factual idea that I did not twist anything out of one, that everything is in place, you're going to see the whole audio, I'm going to play you. You're going to have a whole audio I'm going to play you uh, in Slovenian language. But first, what I'm going to do, uh, first thing I want to do is I'm going to translate one. Now, this is the audio that clearly demonstrates that father fake it. Now, there's one thing he didn't fake it. He didn't fake everything. And I don't even know what exactly was done to one. He got injections in both eyes, of which one eye where he got injections already before I left to Poland I understand mom told me today he can still see according to her saying to me earlier stuff that if he wouldn't get those injections he would have been blind so on that eye he can still see half let's suppose he didn't talk to me about percentage he no longer received the injections and according to what she told me the other day he would already be blind a long time ago or whatever and on the other eye that he still can see he is receiving injections in cornea without what mother stated to me if he wouldn't he would have been blind that's how far this slovenian healthcare system have gone in respect to my father, in respect to my mother, they threatened severely not only to place them inside of the home for elderly, but eventually even do something against them through the healthcare, medical healthcare issues. Yeah, let's go to the audio first. We're going to do that part, and then what I am going to do, like I have stated to you, I will just go and give you the whole this thing here breakdown on this issue yeah we still didn't go through this stuff here about this scenario about placing in home how this would be played about and what mother also alerted me on several occasions 
The main reason why I've chosen this uh, audio to use one, like for a perfect, perfect, perfect example to summarize all that stuff, is that because in this audio, it's also other issues that are involved. It's only not only my spine. I suffered unbearable pain here, right here in the left shoulder, gland node, lymph node. They have done something to one, like I have stated. Sometimes in 96 in Belgrade. He, on this audio, you're about to hear him, had that exact kind of problem this night. It wasn't only about the spine. That's why I said, like, personal, you know, like, personal. How fucking personal can you get when you involve issues like broken tooth? My father had the same, on the same... And actually, he had on the opposite side, I think. But the same kind of problem I have. Identical stuff. Since Return of the Poland, all this stuff. On this audio, you're going to hear him complaining about the stuff I had. He's going to actually say that the chicken which I ate, which according to him was rotten, caused him a pains in the stomach. That kind of bullshit I am talking about. And yet another attempt to break the spine. This shit can be very personal. But I guarantee you, my father, all through he did, brought people, his closest friends, associates, to the degree they would even get in fight, driving them insane, something he was proud of. But he wasn't proud when other people were driving him insane. I guess I already explained that. I don't want to go into that. Uh, it's something that Kopsch abused. Kopsch made a thorough profile of my father, individual that would not even allow to cough if you were with him inside of the kitchen or inside of the living room. to use him against me. And what better fucking way, Mr. Kopsch? I mean, that's why you are what? You're what? Psychiatrist or what are you? This shit is so really, I was trying not to see it personal, but this is beyond, beyond fucking abusing, beyond, beyond primitive, beyond personal, lying, mischieving criminal as it gets. But of terrible fact about all this stuff is it's not my father it's not my father who engineered this it's 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 psychiatrist it's cops who did this stuff this is a doctor this is a psychiatrist who did this shit involving him and mother in a situation to see themselves almost as or us or you this was the predisposition for this shit on behalf of Ljubljana, Slovenian government, which acted against me on behalf, if we wouldn't see eye to eye, like Putin, Vucic told me, therefore Belgrade and Moscow. Let's go to the audio recording so I can demonstrate exactly what I am talking about. Yeah, also identify was this dentist here. Yeah, the same, the same kind of stuff, the, the same kind of stuff uh, I experienced all along since return from Poland is the stuff that was happening to father in a really, really funky way, in a funny way, because when it comes to spine, my father who complained in this audio right here that you're about to hear, complained about stomach complain about feeling weak due to the food he ate due to pain in lymph node under his arm ended up telling a rescuer an ambulance rescuer a worker a first health worker that the only problem actually that he is experiencing 
upon their arrival after they checked his vital signs which were completely normal is actually the problem he have with the spine so therefore he expressed like a ultimate 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 derision a total derision a total disconcern for my spine no go fucking lift with broken spine person with I don't know 80 actually probably more than 90 kilos and you're gonna see how the fuck that feels carry him around and you're gonna see how the hell that feels like uh, maybe maybe even more ultimate this concern was maybe the way I end this audio because the worst part about it you know what the worst part about it is you have seen this shit during MK Ultra, you were told this is gonna be the shit you're gonna go through and it's actually about the shit listen to this this is how i am and it's exactly what i anticipated the case is gonna be i did not have i would measure but when they came here everything they measured was completely normal um i knew this is gonna be and the people that were here they were already here they repeated the situation and they told me that this is how they're gonna get cops psychiatrist back in here because cops was the one who uh was in charge for me through psychiatry this is a totally psychiatric case the whole thing from a to z so there you have it we orchestrated that my father nevertheless also stated me that an mk ultra that if I'm gonna make a problems, he's gonna literally shit in pants. Okay, this is how fucking personal this shit is. If you will do me a problem, I'm gonna shit in pants and you're gonna clean them. I did, make no mistake, I did clean pants that evening, same evening I did so. And for the best reward about it is, he told me, he would even talk, he would say, who ditch T. And when I say this, I'm going to mean you on that MK Ultra. So for breaking your spine and all this stuff, all this shit you're about to hear, that would be the reward for you for tonight. That's how the fuck MK Ultra works. What can I say? Cheers to unemployment and all other stuff that this great genius is a fucking designed uh, for for the sake of good fucking show, for the sake of good stuff, for the sake of sanity, if you like. Let's go. I am going to translate this for you, and you're going to see how crazy insane this stuff is. Then decide it for yourself. Uh, I am just going to give you an overture. Overture over -tour means entry into this. A uh, brief explanation. This is a key. Some of the MK Ultra members did not even know how to open the doors with a key like this. This is not a big art. The only thing you have to do is you have to use okay, uh, a torsion concept. You know, this is a lock, basically comes up to here. And key was twisted like this. Father properly did so, so that I would not... Well, actually, he locked the door, let's say. And so I was for forced to, since... He would stay two, three, four hours even sometimes inside of the bottom. You can use one. You want to go, you want to shower yourself, you want to do this, that, no, 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 no. These are the rules. I went inside, turned the water on, uh, and whatever. He His practice was regular to go inside and let the fucking water run for hours, then come out and whatever. I don't know. Uh, I don't pay the bills, whatever. Look, up to that day, we did have keys. Uh, ever since, we didn't have any keys. First, I had to, like I said, some did not even know how to open, unlock the door. Unlock the door. That I did by using something like this and applying torsion on the key that means that with the torsion we twisting this thing around the blue one that you see i managed to slowly correct the key uh, in a hole so that finally the only thing i did was i pushed one out and i used 
another key from the opposite side to simply unlock the door. I did so. It took me a few minutes to do it. And as soon as I was ready to do this stuff, I told my mom I didn't want to get into it. I gave the father privacy, everything up to that point. Uh, like I said, doors were locked and so on. I wanted mom to take it, uh, you know, with him. And I told my mom, I am going to go ahead. I'm going to open the door. I'm going to unlock the door. And you go inside and you talk to him. My mom, don't count on it. Don't bet on it. Uh, whether she liked it or not, she was forced to do it this way. It's not because she would or whatever she would. This is exactly what cops anticipated it would be done to help Belgrade, to help Moscow, basically, to take them away so that I would find myself in this kind of situation. Oh, this is a sick dude, if you ask me. It, it, he is sick. The guy's as fucking sick as he gets. He's a psychiatrist, but in his head, not everything is okay. I know, I know, I know, I don't give a fuck about who's gonna help what and this and that. The guy's fucking sicko. He's a sick bastard. I was unemployed, basically, forcefully, since 2006. And I did look for the job. That's like 15 years. And so that this fucking guy comes up with a concept like this to drive me insane even that's like you gotta say uniquely fucking insane guy and the rest of the time I spent in the US that was nothing else than extortion forced unemployment extortion insults irregular work hours uh, uh, shifts and stuff like this I was pulling and then for, uh, in between force and employment so they could suck savings and stuff like that. The guy's fucking sick. He's sick. But he's a psychiatrist. He's a doctor. Nevertheless, that's a fact. If anybody is sick, if you come up with a scenario like this, you are fucking insane. Let's go to this stuff. This is also the stuff. It didn't happen once. But that's okay, I don't have a problem doing that stuff, but this is just to record the facts. Once I open this, mom, you get in and get the key the father has inside of the uh, bathroom. Get this key out. So I told my mom this because we don't even know when he goes inside, it stays for hours if he's okay or not or whatever. Mom says open it. I am trying to do so, this is not so easy. I go to minute 6.15 and the end, like I said, I'm gonna play this audio. I have nothing really to hide. Uh, you were able to hear mom says come on open open the key have fallen down we open at this point mom goes inside I walk away I don't want to interfere I don't want to go inside see he is what he's doing and so on I respect privacy at that point unless mom would request I would not meddle this is the way I was in this stuff 
Wow, mom goes inside, she explodes. I did this uh, to make myself clear because mom asked me to do something like that. Okay, keep in mind both are acting. Do not get excited. It's the same shit like you read mainstream media news. Let's go. Fifteen fifteen mom calls ambulance a vehicle. So I go to minute fifteen. Uh, the TV is on, basically. This is where my mom calls, calls ambulance. Okay. Yeah, what you hear inside is the father. Uh, I go inside and father is uh, half unconscious. I actually did jump a little bit, maybe even too much. Um, Mom asked me to take him to his bathroom. If I demonstrate to you what exactly that would look like, it, it's it's this place here that I opened. This is how I opened. The doors that you see in the past, whenever the hell that was, they even broken them. You can see that there were other people inside in here doing crazy stuff already. That's where my father seated, basically. That's what I dragged him. And the voila, you see the side of the bed that is closer to us. This is also thanks to Beto. Uh, he no longer sleeps next to the window like the case was before a better gave instructions on whenever you deal with an older person on actually how to position everything organized so it's easier uh, if ever uh, there is a like emergency or something like this it's an easier uh, way to transport that person help person and so on so that's what we did afterwards, right? So, yeah, father barricaded this place, as you're about to see, a lot with um, all kinds of uh, drawers, um, clothing storage and so on and it's very very unaccessible he had a load of stuff inside in there and so on uh, and it was very difficult to such to transport him like this inside okay so he no longer he was not in that bed he used to be on this bed here this is the bed where I had to transfer him to now super super narrow just look at what my shoes look like co in comparison to this passage here yeah he weights about 90 kilos between 90 and 100 kilos this is not a joke for somebody who has a broken spine my father totally 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 faked <coughs> he faked uh physical condition of completely completely unconscious person he would not even move fucking finger no seriously literally this and you know what this shit is all about and you have to do it like this whether you like it or not to best of your abilities don't even think about anything really there was a lot a lot of stuff like i've stated that cops did that was really really personal stuff and 
really I would not I was just I would not imp report on it because they could really come and pick up my father uh, that's one of the things uh, cops was certain that I am gonna do something that uh, eventually is gonna so trigger you know that's gonna trigger social services somebody to stop by and find out about the things he really really organized this so thoroughly um, so I'm just gonna put it this way so personal you know so personal mm -hmm. yeah. okay. <laughs> yeah, ah, uh, that's a really funny one, eh? So let's go back and I'm go ahead. I am gonna translate this for you, so at least you you know, you got an idea about <coughs> at this point in time what exactly happened. We get in. Uh, father is feigning. He is like not so unconscious but when i commit myself to help him out uh he goes completely out now he is completely out now we go to the scenario of mr beto okay the legs the leg hurts me then he changes the story, he tells, the leg does not carry me. I tell him, Father, you have to walk. You have to walk. I told you so many times to walk. Uh, the story with the walk, I'm not going to go into. That was another MK Ultra bullshit. He and the neighbor here, Dane, Colenz, they engineered that kind of stuff. He helped him out with the walk, the idea, literally brainwashed me on how you're going to take father here, take him there, take him that. And for every time, every every occasion, how can I say, you almost would get like a finger. That's what you would get, like a middle finger for it. You take it to the fishing, whatever, and at the end of the day, what you get, you get finger. Um, like I've said, I'm not angry with my father. My father took this in a way a Slovenian state wanted him to take. He didn't do it because he would have otherwise personal problem against me, but he did this because of the stuff. What this individual, this psychiatrist orchestrated, this guy really 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 took this stuff so personally you know he took it so so personally when they started to uh, when they went after my father even you know involving issues i mentioned that they would come here and start to play the music like from Malik Ninja, you know, about my father is a war criminal and stuff like that. Uh, they set him up, they they placed him in a situation, from my aspect, from my view, he literally did not have any choice whatsoever. And my father took it with everything he had to do exactly what he was brainwashed basically to do to comply completely completely comply it's also what makes me believe about the audio which i have released the other day about my father in which my father is talking about the police that he is afraid of police that they could come and they could do something to him and this and that that they yeah now that stuff makes a little more sense now i started to understand that what he was talking about the police 
I'm gonna explain at the end about this mental game what they had how they wanted me to see things as was involved in this stuff they of course they were involved in absolutely everything and so his fear completely is justified I would say his fear wouldn't be justified if they would intervene in between and take steps to ensure that I would do this in a normal environment but these people haven't done absolutely anything even since return from the Poland they have not ensured about anything you know everything pretty much remained the same I yeah, I do relate more to my mom which I presented you with uh, we're gonna go to the home for elderly what about you what's gonna be with you and so on uh, sure that is closer to the logic what she stated therefore a police set up against me then doing this kind of stuff basically for my sake why not even ensuring about basic needs that person would complete the project like in a normal environment this isn't about collection of MKUltra proofs proving about the case itself obviously that this is causing as much harm as much damage as possible obviously these people fucking know these people admit these people police alone everybody obviously they recognize this shit is real you can't deny it because of so many proofs but not only for the cost of those proofs but for whatever you want to say this rather than to admit rather than to recognize rather than to stop abuse they push this to extreme who else does it if doesn't police who else would allow the psychiatrist to do the stuff like this to play with you who else would allow state to blacklist you at employment and so on who does the stuff like this come on closer his logic mom's logic than anything police would have to present anything that a parliament slovenian parliament especially would have to present closer yes definitely let's go on with this my father states he feels weak does not feel good I am encouraging he said I'm gonna fall down I say no you're not gonna fall down it's okay it's all good you're not gonna fall anywhere what I'm gonna do to make you easier folks and at the end I'm gonna play this whole audio I'm gonna reduce this to about like this and at the end you're gonna hear about basically Uh, I told my dad and my mom I'm going to put him to bed but the first thing I want to do is I want to flush his ass so he's going to be clean my father had basically dirty pants dirty ass uh, and so I have to help him out that first before I put him in the bed He's gonna fall down. No, he's not gonna fall down. I hold him on. Don't worry about. It. Let's go. Uh, father claims he's gonna fall down. We hold you, mom. Hysterical acting, acting.
Uh, mom gets pissed off. She gets angry. And... And because uh, she becomes hysterical at the same time, father completely uh, goes out, completely fades out, completely like it's completely over. It's completely, completely over, basically. Catch me. Uh, this acting that started with a dish, which where he would actually with a bucket where he would piss and. Yeah, it ended like this. It ended with him even breaking one. Once I help him so that he would not inhale those fumes, I created him like a handle even. I found him a cover, a handle. I, I made it for his bucket. He broke everything. He broke the stuff. That's what it ended. I can tell you that's another proof that I can use. Um, that's the kind of stuff actually cops attempted to use against me with idea to he had the whole set of BS uh, stuff that he's gonna use that kind of stuff against me that uh, maybe that something God knows what wrong with my father because of me or something like that that's another issue I'm going to This. That kind of stuff. You should go to this kind of stuff here. It started with this stuff here that you see. It started with this kind of stuff. Yeah. And he also bully here, yeah? In this audio, if you heard, he bully, he goes uh, about uh, if they left, if we're going to Ljubljana, are they coming from Ljubljana? All the time making me a facial characteristics, exactly the same expressions as whenever these psychiatrists would come, actually these nurses would come to visit me from Ljubljana and he threatened under MK Ultra all the time. If you will not see yourself face to face with the Belgrade Ljubljana psychiatry, of course. Now that cops, cops, uh, this was then broken that day. Um, so the potential in this stuff, Kapsch uh, wanted to exploit this issue. Kapsch wanted to exploit this issue to idea that would actually grant him access to social services in the case because uh, like gesture like that something is wrong happening to my papa that I don't treat him well and stuff like that, you know? That he's nervous, that something is like a mental breakdown in that kind of sense, in that kind of sense. That's what the cops was looking for. So there was stuff, don't even think that you saw the father would come here at night time and piss inside of my room, basically. Uh, you know, that kind of stuff that I published, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, extremely disturbing, extremely, extremely personal, uh, really, really designed to drive person insane kind of stuff. But that's why I said personal. This shit is personal. How the hell that cannot be personal? I think it's as personal as it gets. It started like that. It father was the one who insisted on the MK Ultra. How he is gonna with the fishing trips, with if you will be good if you get me to fishing trip in the springtime. <coughs> he totally committed himself. He would go as far as driving me crazy with amount of food he would consume. Kapsch did not want him to do that. It was so much between the two. 
cops didn't want him to do that kind of stuff but my father did that kind of stuff my father cra my father is crazy my father is bored this is a pensioner and presented with the issue like this he took a little bit too much upon himself so he would go and fucking load himself with the food so much uh, I think one time like two kilos of the food he would eat um, banana with the bread and bread all the time for the mornings for the breakfast and tea drink tea water basically and bread only you know he would do the kind of stuff that I was basically compelled into Poland when in Poland when I didn't have basically for the fucking yogurt for the milk now my father would do this shit to me here in Slovenia but not because he wouldn't have because it was just fucking personal because somebody gave him information about how it's gonna be in Poland right it wasn't my dad that went to Poland and you know all this stuff so they wanted to drive insane what exactly it means over consumption of the foods well when you care about your father despite everything I do and you take him for a walk the idea is for him to get his blood circulate for him to lose some calorie and so on and when he goes and he loads himself like this deliberately in front of you he makes you fucking nervous everything like this will fucking destabilize you it will disorganize you so you you come into element that's like you presented that your parents are gonna fucking die uh your parents are gonna be taken away and stuff like this and the issue at the end of the video that is actually that expensive and more so yeah, yeah when you, when i say personal i don't know if this is personal i think this shit crosses the word personal the issue personal let's go back to audio Oh, that's my father. Yeah. Uh, my father goes completely flat at this point, and I actually really I get the blanket. I put that blanket on the. Uh, it wasn't a sheet or something like this for the bed, but really blanket, strong, nice. Put him on that blanket, and then I start to pull him toward the bed because the man is like between 90 to 100 kilos imagine uh, I, I, this is really really idiotic and I am actually at this point not happy about what my mom is saying you see this here every one of these test subjects made a mistake here uh, one of the test subjects when they were pulling they actually really did not realize this edge here from the bed listen I fucking remembered one from MK Ultra from what they were dealing with I had to watch this stuff uh, and when she says that she's lying to put it plain and simple I transported my father inside of the bed is best anybody possibly could once I transported one in the bed he tried with the requests that are actually used designed really evaluated by the physicians by the orthopedists on how to break your spine if you have herniated disc if you have uh, semi broken spine basically and that's exactly the type of stuff he wanted me to perform from here. Basically, he would follow on every one of the steps from MK Ultra with the idea to cause me as much harm as possible. Let's continue with this. Including and not limited to once I placed him on the bed, he wanted me to... Uh, basically, he wanted to lean on me. He wanted to sit me on the... He wanted for him for me to sit on the side of the bed uh, make a torsion 
uh, in a way so that I would accommodate his body while he would actually lean against me. So I would actually, not on the pillow, but against me so he could drink tea or something like that it was. Completely fucked up and abusive stuff and really, really personal. You see, this I don't like even a little bit. This is very nasty, but let's go. I tell mom very calmly. Calm down. Completely, completely faking it, knowing I am audio recording this stuff. I transport father to the bed. This stuff happened no less than three months ago, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, my father sprang back to his strength big time when compared to what it used to be the situation. Just as he stated on the MK Ultra, he would. Don't be surprised, however, <laughs> if during the springtime I jump back and I go normal as if nothing ever happened to me. Uh, when it came to the scenario about a home for elderly people, it was like my mother explained to me the mentia. This is like now I feel good, now I don't feel good. It goes even like this. She said that we can go to home and then we can come out of the home. We can call, today I feel good, tomorrow I don't feel good, you know, that kind of stuff, whatever. You know, when you're forcefully unemployed, there is a fucking reason per why you are unemployed. There is one fucking reason that there is something has got to be when you apply for so many jobs it's got to be a fucking reason for why like everything in this world there is a reason for that matter Mom calls ambulance vehicle, ambulance vehicle uh, is on its way. Eighty-eight years old. Uh, cannot uh, move anywhere, is static. He, tells, uh, he feels terribly weak. Okay, so he fi she finally gets the right number. I tell that uh, mom to tell that he is not, uh, that, that he is static, that he is not mobile, completely static, he can't go anywhere. He can breathe normally. He 
is completely static and he is not helping himself nothing at all just as he would be dead he was at the toilet He had diarrhea, he was in a toilet. He was locked inside of the, he locked himself inside of the toilet for about an hour. Uh, mom said that we forcefully opened the door. No, we did not. I managed to unlock them properly. Somebody else unlocked the doors forcefully before you and you were able to see that doors are damaged never ever i did in my life i never did a single thing with the violence like that Zero seventy seventy four. 8239 everything normal he's warm we don't have coronavirus no Yeah, he is now uh, faking like completely, completely dead. He's now completely, completely faking like completely. If I would put this uh, video back then when I had no evidence whatsoever, this could be a real fucking problem. You know, uh, the biggest problem, the problem would have been because of my not understanding what exactly went on why all this stuff happened who what exactly is happening here because of what they have created but because i was patient and i'm not gonna say patient but wise enough uh i continue to sort everything and yeah one time it really got me i got so upset that I was really gonna curse him out and everything all together and then I realized that's exactly heading in direction this friends uh, insisted me to do but then again considering this whole thing you know it was really really so helpful you know really really I gotta say so 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 helpful to open my mind to idea on what exactly my father did in Bosnia and Croatia and I don't know what with the people that I already have demonstrated in this video most likely like almost 100% not 999 but 100% worked for the Serbian intelligence it was so fucking helpful but I had to say no thanks but no thanks uh, a whole bunch of these people that appeared out of blue that were out there to help out and you're gonna say this and it was this and it was that but this all these people that were so helpful never produce any kind of evidence they never produced anything i kind of figure out that with the friends like this you go dead you don't only go broke but you go dead uh and came to terms based on the facts 
not based on uh, assumptions and stuff like this. Facts based on circumstances I alone was drugged up. Reminding myself, my father being drugged up. Reminding myself they needed him. Basically understood that the game of getting him out of the picture is needed more for somebody else, not because they would want the justice or something like this. This isn't because these people would care about the fucking justice. This shit was done to F me. This is basically the justice. They don't care about no justice. They wanted my parents away to F me, basically, not because of the justice. So it was like in the last second that I understood. They set him up just like they set me up. They orchestrated this whole shit basically to ruin me completely. And the grandmaster for that was actually Vlad, the Vlad from Moscow, Vladimir. And that's the person, this psychiatrist, on whose behalf he also acted with this plan. That I had to say really no. Okay, this is good stuff here, look. A mom asks, hey, I, I, over there, how are you? And father says, Oh, yeah, Bolin, I am in pain. I am in pain everywhere. My mom asks, where is hurting you? Where do you have pain? I cannot breathe. I cannot breathe. I ask father, you are saying that you cannot breathe? I said, really? I'm trying to establish where this man has a pain. He has a pain in the chest. So I established that he must have been suffering a heart attack because that's like a typical heart attack sign. So I say he has probably a cardiac arrest to my mom. Okay, so they're gonna come immediately was what she got information about the ambulance the rescuer coming to the house. <laughs> the pillow under my spine, under my back, behind my back is uh, actually now blocking me from breathing. Okay, it's it's blocking his airway is a pillow under his back. I actually have difficulty with this logic, you know. Uh, he is normal in the bed, but because the pillow, how would you say, Julity, uh, the pillow is not completely properly placed in his back. He has a property breathing. Okay, so I go ahead and I adjust that pillow. I said, Mom says, just pull the pillow away. Now listen to this. Uh, is this now better? And father says immediately, oh yes. Yeah. For this stuff, I was actually taught that I have to be really, really, really careful on what I translate this stuff. 
because my father could really, really, really get into trouble because of this. Well, my father is past getting in trouble. This isn't my father doing. This is my father doing on behalf of the people I mentioned, on, the, on behalf of the people I stated. It's not my father doing this stuff. It's someone else that's doing this stuff. They came with all kinds of scenarios, like I have explained. Also had scenario that my parents would have to go away for some time and so on. <coughs> this is what the police would intervene. It would not be a home for elderly people and shit like this. Uh, and then that they would have to admit, but it would take some time and this and that. I am against all that bullshit. There is no need for any of that stuff. gotta take the hearing aid uh, away from his ears so he doesn't lose one I'm gonna find the medical card for him We're gonna do it again, 2537, that's the important part. Let me see this here. This is maybe even more important here. I tell mom that just uh, she should call also and tell update them basically with condition that father has a pain in the inside of his chest. talks about that we should go with him to the hospital with our car this is a very very important stuff that I can tell you more about that he's totally faking with the facts right now um, he is talking about the food I consumed. He's talking about stuff I have, my problems. Therefore, this guy is making fun, especially because it becomes evident when the rescuers come, he complains about a spine instead. <laughs> I have a difficulty breathing. I decide to learn more about. And I said, you are in pain here, huh? I said that. Where is pain? Here? Here?
so cool. Uh, he is pointing at the chest that he has a uh, pain inside of the difficult to uh, establish, whether inside of the chest or inside of the stomach, the, and, and claims that he cannot breathe. Uh, it doesn't hurt me anymore so bad. But I said, it, it, did it hurt you? He said, yes, it did. What about here under the arms? And demonstrating the same spot I had and asking this question because father always had a problem whenever I had a problem uh, with a pressure. <laughs> he would, I would go to the kitchen and he would tell me about he would be like, oh, I don't feel good, I don't feel good. And when I, when I would say, well, what's going on, Dad? What, what, what is it? Do you feel like this? Do you feel like this? And he would give me, like, well, exactly the stuff I have. So... And Father says, yes, I do have it under the arms that he has a pain. Okay, cool. What about on the other side? Two, yes, pain, a, a bit less, he says. <laughs> yeah, listen how he talks. Listen how he says. I mean, come on, eh? Uh, only a person that is like fucking dead would talk to you like this when you ask a question. Uh, yeah, he had a pain under the arms. I had pain under the arms back then. Such a pain that I wasn't sure whether I'm going to go to the surgery or not. I already have explained that issue well. I asked him, what did you eat today? Uh, some kind of a rotten uh, chicken, maybe he says, and I understand as a, as a milk, what? Uh, pokvareno kurico, a rotten chicken. It was, it was a rotten chicken because a rotten chicken, I don't throw the food away. And this chicken that was from the day earlier, I was the one who ate one. Father actually told me when I asked him at the table whether he would like to eat or I'm going to eat. Because this is the way I am. He said, no, no. So I ate rather than throw that away. Actually, that chicken I ate with a skin, uh, with everything. Uh, and so father said that he ate a rotten chicken. He did not eat no chicken. Now I know that he is lying 100%. Pokvareno, rotten, rotten. I tell him, no, you did not eat chicken that I would know of. I was the one who ate the chicken. Basically the chicken from yesterday, I tell him. And he goes, uh, yeah, uh, I asked him, did you drink coffee, maybe? It's, it's okay. I don't want to make any kind of assumptions. I go on and I try to find out more. Mother hired me a little earlier that they are coming. Therefore, that I should just walk away from father, not talk to him. But these are actually crucial moments that give credibility to my audio, to my video. that he did drink coffee, he says. He says, okay then. So I am assuming that because he drank the coffee that he might have issue with the blood pressure that might actually have an issue with a cardiac arrest. There is such a possibility. Uh, 
You have, you are claiming that you have a pain under the arm, basically, a limp node, a grand node, my problem. And he says yes. Amazing. I tell him you have something else going on. We are. I already know exactly what's going on. Uh, you will survive this one, I tell him. You don't have to worry about it. I have a problem explaining him exactly how I see this issue, but okay. I don't go into details. I know. I know what they want from me. Obviously, the rescuers are not here yet, and mom claimed they are here, that they are here already. She hired with that. You see, these are the crucial seconds that helped me determine basically exactly what went on. And I established this very well, actually. A mask. Ah, uh, there you go. The medical, the rescuers are here. They come. They are here now. Hello, hello. of these medical rescuers were involved in MK Ultra. Today they cannot argue with it. Today they can say anything in defense against this statement other than to admit there is no way they can. Even that during MK Ultra they claim me they will not recognize this. It really really matters not. This is three months ago as I have stated. It really really matters not. At that point in time Mr. Kopsch had played cards that from the psychological evaluation from that degree three months ago when considering what I have gone through he wanted to create a problem of any anything anything would be okay anything would go uh, absolutely any any kind of issue as long as it would bring someone uh, to someone attention it would be a problem for me I did not have a sufficient amount of proofs today I have million proofs uh, father faked like not knowing anything like I explained not sure whether the mama uh, his wife basically still alive and stuff like this on other locations occasions he would know like an eagle exactly addresses and so on and so forth cops told me this is how dementia works of course but it's really thanks to the cause which involved Bosnia and Croatia that I thoroughly understand the nature of the problem here the nature of the problem was to make me understand that father is faking it and curse him and curse my mother and curse my family especially my niece and her husband to hell sending them literally away from home sending them to home for elderly uh, and basically this way Thanks to all these people that care so much about me, condemn myself to death through unemployment. Uh, in 
if you read news if you look on the news you don't hear about new jobs you hear about a lot of people fired all over the place yeah this is a big case it's a global one uh, and the high profile case like this one does involve uh, issues like this stuff happens like this When you tell your dad is a criminal, when you tell your dad about your dad and this and that, that's when I come, that's when I drive here. And that's from Bosnia, from Croatia and so on. And I give you the tape. Oh, wow, fuck. Thanks for caring about me so much uh, in a, such a way. There were so many people, you know, who wanted to help me out in exactly this form in exactly this way so many people like you have no fucking idea and if i would take every one of them seriously i wouldn't even be talking to you today but thanks a lot and as i stated most of these people here here in novo mesto in bosnia too they had a big problem with infiltration a lot of these people that claimed that they are bosnian people it showed itself afterwards they were not even Bosnian people they were infiltrators or converts into something else and so on if I was to uh, depend on the people like this I would be whoa long long time gone like that really it doesn't work like this Yeah, the two gentlemen come. I recognize them especially. You know why? I will explain to you. Because these two guys are fucking big. They are so big. I was actually told that if I would cause problems at this point in time upon return from Poland, they would send exactly these two guys. And they demonstrated to me they were, these are big guys, man. Every one of these guys probably, I don't know. Uh, like 119, 195, uh, and probably each one of them weighing probably a weight. I don't, I don't even know. What maybe between 120, 150 kilos and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, you would remember uh, the people like this. Oh, uh, that's why uh, that kind of permission that we don't know, we would not, and this and that. That's that's declined. That's denied. Yes, we know each other. He said that uh, he has, has a pain in the chest, in the stomach area, chest, and he also has a pain under his uh, arms. And that he cannot breathe also, is what he told me, I tell them. Uh, the mom said that he is unconscious. He, uh, he says, to wait a minute. He said that's a huge, huge difference between the conscious and unconscious. Uh, if he would be unconscious, it would be another car that would come, he says. It was a bit different vehicle that would come to pick him up. He takes his vital signs, measures uh, blood pressure, uh, heartbeat, all that goody. Uh, comes to terms that everything is completely normal.
to preživečko naredil, notri so zakljene, imel je nekakšno potrebo in tu pa tudi se vse razkrati, da se bo že govoril, 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 da se bo He does not need no help. I offered him help, I did. Uh, I still do. Uh, for me, uh, maybe this is a little bit weird for all of you, but for me, nothing actually changed in respect to father. Uh, father is still father, and uh, I'm just a normal human being. I deal with the stuff like this. I'm not going to say best to my abilities. The thing is that I deal with this kind of stuff as it comes. I don't pay attention to a crazy, a really insane psychiatrist. I can't afford, uh, basically. Uh, so, for me, nothing really changed here. If I am required to do whatever I, I'm required to do, I do it. I don't actually question, I do it. Uh, but, along the way, I also get some information done here and there too. I do that kind of stuff too, because that's helpful. Other than that, I don't take anything personal, basically, is what I'm trying to say. We waited with mom about an hour. He told her everything is okay, no, declined her assistance too, not only mine. I wanted to clean him up too. He's my father. And as a son, I feel that, you know, it's a normal thing that you would also go and you would clean your father. This is a normal thing. There's nothing unusual about that. So we waited about an hour. And then I went ahead and I opened somehow. He locked himself, unlocked the door. Mom went inside, he went and uh, she found him sitting on a toilet. Uh, and it appeared that he was in a very weak uh, physical condition, however he did not fall off that toilet. Uh, he somehow did manage to hold himself sitting on a toilet till we came to his help. Then with mom we did put him inside of the bed. When I placed him on On a, on a cover, if you like, um, not on a sheet, but on a cover, which I used to pull him to the bed, he was uh, still responsive. He was completely responsive. He was not unconscious at any point. Uh, mom says that it hurt him when we were pulling him and I said no I did not observe that he would have any pain because we would pull him or anything like this uh, did not observe any of that you're gonna be also able to hear the whole thing uh, once I placed him on the bed, however, he stated that he has a pain in the chest. That he also has a problem with breathing. That something is uh, closing his airways. He did have asthma and that kind of stuff. He did have a problem with the bronchitis. He does, however, has uh, this relieving things. Uh, for asthma and such, which he did not even use at any point in time uh, during the course of this audio uh, whatsoever. I have actually noticed that 
he feels really good with his air channels uh, you are also able to hear that he does not have any kind of problem with airways anything that would choke him any any kind of issue like that either uh, at the end i'm going to play you this audio so you will be able to clearly hear the whole thing I also mentioned the problem with a pillow he had under his back that caused him uh, what he gestured pain, uh, actually a problem with breathing, a breathing problem. No pain, just breathing problem. <laughs> Uh, I say what's interesting is also I find fascinating that he has a pain under his arm that's basically the problem I have that's another personal he says a doctor a physician says he's breathing very well there is no problem he does not have any problem with airways, anything like this. Uh, is excellent, in an excellent shape. Okay, so now physician confirms what I stated to you earlier. So that's also made up, that's also a lie he made up, my father, that he cannot breathe. Now he does, now father does not have a problem holding his hands and, and so on. Uh, doctor, a physician is actually asking him already if he hears well what's going on because he's he doesn't answer and he's not there to lose time either basically he wants some answers and mom says he's got a brand new battery i changed him today a battery for from his hearing aid uh he's only got in one ear this hearing aid and mom says it's always like that well <laughs> you want to go about the personal it's like this the only thing i ever got from slovenian state was actually a free pass into a mental hospital that's all the fuck i ever got other than that a real problems and yeah just as i have demonstrated on my new site On my right ear, I am like 50%, I don't know how much, deaf, basically. I really have a fucking problem with it. I'm not saying that my father doesn't have. The thing is, what I stated to you, that's all I ever got from this system. Nothing else ever. Not even the tooth. Even the tooth, I wouldn't go and fucking repair. What I actually got, they broke me tooth, they break me teeth, and they got me to the... A free pass to a mental asylum that's all the fuck i ever got just talking about the personal so the physician is still checking him out he is his vital signs are completely okay a physician says the measurements the everything is indicating he has normal nothing that would be like like that you know no blood nothing whatsoever
Nothing, 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 nothing. There was no blood, there was nothing. Uh, the physician checked everything. I don't see anything that could be possibly wrong with him. Uh, mom says <laughs> he did not even drink coffee. He did not drink coffee. He stated earlier he drank coffee. He did not. <laughs> Is he appearing to you any different at this time, at this point, as when you would compare what usually would? Uh, no, I'm not used to seeing him in a condition like this. Uh, I noticed my father when I was transporting him to the bed, okay? <laughs> uh, I observed him exactly how he react, you know? I, I'm not so much of a panicking person. I have gone through a little too much and I know a little bit about this. Even when I put him on a sheet, basically not on a sheet, but on a cover, on a blanket, and I was pulling him, uh, God forbid that a blanket would touch even his cheeks, something. Uh, no, because he would go like, eh, immediately, eh. So, if you're like semi-responsive, if you're like semi-unconscious, whatever, you would not even notice that kind of stuff, I tell you that. Uh, I tell this actually a physician that he was completely, completely to me personally, the way I measured, the way I observed, he completely reacted to everything like with the way basically, well, a completely responsive person, I should say. Would. Uh, the measurements, the body measurements, the way what we measured, he, they took, they took all the vital signs, whatever measurements. Everything is in 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 limits of normal. He tells my father, Let, "Let's sit. Let's sit." He tells my father. Let's sit, Dad. Let's sit. Mr. Sabo, let's sit. We are not going to walk, says the uh, doctor. We're not going to walk. Let's sit. Let's go in a sitting position. Do you have a pain? Yes, I have a pain. Uh, is it pelvis? What is it? No, it's not. Well, what is it? Uh, this, here, this? He's checking his back, actually, at this point. This, right? Yes? Aha, there, there. Let's stand up, let's stand up. This, this, Where, what hurts you, Tells. It's it, it hurts a little, my father says, standing.
Yes, yes, this, yes, yes, a little lower, a little lower. Just seat, uh, just have a seat, please, tells him. I tell a physician, because of the age of my father, he was, who is 88, he was not like this, he is uh, mobile, he's asking, he wants to know what exactly, in what kind of shape my father is. I said that he is shape, he can walk and stuff like this, can move, go for a walk and stuff. It was not like this, definitely not in that shape. We might have gone for a walk about a kilometer today in in afternoon when the sun was outside. He returned back completely normally. There was no there was nothing to worry about. Uh, he says that uh, what that something hit him. Let's hear this. Udarlu uh, means hit, and that's exactly what this doctor who reorchestrated this whole thing told me that's when you're going to be worried when you hear this. That's when you're going to be worried. I, <laughs> what can I say? Hit. Hit means that it was terribly that hit me it was terribly that hit me okay terribly that hit you uh yeah that would actually worry anybody i think um if you um that was another issue that i need to mention when i go to this kind of stuff here when i'll do that kind of stuff here about this kind of scenario what exactly happened uh, that would be best to get rid of the father the issue that a person yeah that's what they brainwashed me with also incited me that would be just best to get rid of him because the old person eventually can cause such a problems to you and say that you abused him or something like this that's what this doctor meant by that that's when it's gonna worry you when i say this totally from mk ultra scenario this whole thing uh he is complaining about the pain in the spine that has a pain in the spine a fucking problem i have not that somebody would hit him but he says in a, such a way that the doctor actually asked him who hit you it's better it's actually not even the spine that would hurt him it's actually the muscles uh, around spine that uh, hurt him I don't know what he says uh, what kind of opathy or something uh, 
Zopatia, something like that, he says. Everything, everything, everything in normal, the physician says, everything, everything in normal. It looks like that he just... Um, had a problem with the muscles around spine area, basically. Uh, at the evening time, uh, when the evening came, he started to talk all confused. Not clearly, my mother says. When he says that he started to talk all confused and stuff like that. Yes, that's another issue I'm gonna touch. <laughs> Father would sometimes leave the teeth, the uh protests at home whatever and he is just like uh, he would he would not answer and so on uh something that at times i get scared actually that he is suffering in fact i don't know how um like a brain Not cardiac arrest, but this is this is this is associated with brain brain um, brain problem. Like he would get infarct. I don't know how to say this in English. Maybe it's the same in English. Um, type of issue because when people had a problem with infarct, people have a problem with the speech. Now I am completely mistaken here. This is not about the infarct. Okay. So that I'm referring to the stroke, to be precise about it. Stroke. Stroke is when when you have a stroke, that's when you're gonna have a problem with the speech. That's my mom doesn't say she has he has a stroke or something like that, but it sounds like stroke when she says that he had a problem like uh, uh, you know when you drag like that that could be a sign of stroke uh, uh, father tells his exact birth date when they ask him question when physician asks him about that what day is today that my father doesn't give a shit about what day it is. For him, every day is. For him, every day is Sunday, to drive me nuts. Um, to drive me nuts because it's hard to fuck with a job search, place online MK Ultra proofs, and have some lunatic, literally interjecting himself ahead of you, so you can fucking do your job. So you can look for the fucking job and you can even put what they asked you to do put the fucking mk ultra proofs so for him every fucking day is sunday every fucking day and when you do the stuff like this it's hard to do it it's a lot of shit you deal with this place here i am this is already 26 years of mk ultra place this place here there's a lot of torture took place inside of this room and it doesn't matter to him everything is the fucking same it was good so for him every day is a sunday this is yet another bs he doesn't know what day it is That's the answer basically I get every day, every time. Uh, and if not, it's not the answer I would get every time. It's actually he asks what day it is. 
And then he goes, oh, tomorrow is Sunday. Doesn't matter if it's Tuesday or Wednesday or Thursday. And he does the shit as he said under MK Ultra he would do. Because you're not looking for the job. Because of you're no fucking good. Because of this, because of that. This is shit, excuse me. Real shit. What year is it? We are 1932, the day he was born. No, no, he says. Today. He will not know what year it is. Well, the truth is to my father, really, it's even. He doesn't care. He asked him, what is it now? Is it winter? Is it spring? Is it summer? What is it? He says it's a spring. And I tell my mom, if he's not going to walk, if he's not going to move, if he's not going to exercise, that's what's going to happen. Um, he says this is the this is the stuff uh, for neurologist examination. He says this is dementia. He says this is dementia, uh, according to my opinion. personal physician is the one that already was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, my mom, no, that's not it. No neurologist, no. Uh, he is okay. They do keep online all the time. They keep connection with one another all the time. That is true. This is the stuff I told you about. We can take your father any time, at any time away. If we're not going to see eye to eye, this is what's going to be. They built issues, and like this, and like this, and like this, they wanted to be like completely in control of this stuff. He had blood pressure, mom says, good. Earlier today, he had, the physician says, he had have all the vital signs we measured right now, everything okay, also now. He says, this is a case for psychiatrists. He says, sometimes you cannot cure the thing, but you can at least slow down one. Two years ago, he had uh, accident and he had bleeding, brain bleeding. He was in Ljubljana, he had a surgery, he successfully have undergone this surgery with a brain bleeding. Uh, there you go, here we are, uh, Dr. Kapsch, I call Dr. Kapsch, a psychiatrist, Kapsch, again, oh, I did not even pay attention to this, that's nice. Uh, three days ago, I uh, called him three days ago, talked to him, he said this is not dementia that he talks slower occasionally.
I don't know what kind of a sign that it is that the cops explain. With a cop just like this, there is this service called Rudy. Okay. Rudy is a service, a transport service, a free transport. Uh, they got an idea for, from Germany actually. Uh, the person who no longer works at the police told me, yeah, this is what that looks like. This is a transport that they state actually local government provides for disabled people or elderly. The person who no longer works with the police told me sometimes long ago under MK Ultra, it's what my mom and my dad are going to use. During this so-called crisis you're going to go through upon return from Poland whenever they will commute to this person here. That's a psychiatrist of Peter Kops, which my mom, thanks very much, even mentioned they were visiting three days ago, I think she said. Whatever. I'm pleasantly surprised that she actually mentions this name. All true, uh, I was not aware of it. And stuff I witness about this individual is based on completely uh, I'm gonna say totally totally other facts nothing is related to what my mom basically talks about at this point in time let's continue with this When was it the physician saw him 13 days ago? I just go ahead and lay down back. Thank you, uh, physician. Thank him. That takes the date of birth. Uh, entire audio I am going to provide at the end of this video. I don't see any urgent matter with him. He says during this corona outbreak, the possibility is going inside the hospital will actually result in a corona problem. Temperature, from temperature, everything. Uh, he had no problem under the arm, there was nothing with the limp node. He has, he doesn't have any pain. I inspected him, the physician stated. His mental state of mind, however, that is up to you. At this age, at this age, uh, that's very, very relative, that it all depends on an individual how. 
It's basically like uh, they have washed me, brainwashed me with that stuff. This is like a piece of art, basically. It depends for the government what is going to see in this piece of art. That's why I should be so attentive to it. Nevertheless, they screwed me up 26 years of life, and I'm not too far from, well, I don't feel too good what father says when they ask him how he feels like and the physician asks him are you going to the hospital would you like to go to the hospital physician asks him mom asks are you going to the hospital No, no, I would not go, I would not go. The only problem he could have is basically something mentally related, other than that, nothing. I don't want to go over and explain again what I already did. Uh, the audio, like I stated, is going to be all available at the end of this video. The physicians basically leave, the rescue vehicle leaves. I'm about to leave the comment here, you can listen to one. I recognize both of them. This is how they're going to get cops, psychiatrists back in here. Because cops was the one who uh, was in charge for me for the psychiatry. This is a totally psychiatric case. The whole train from A to Z. So there you have it. We orchestrated that. My father, nevertheless, also stated me in an empty ultra that if I'm going to make a problems, he's going to literally shit in pants. This is also the stuff. It didn't happen once, but that's okay. I don't have a problem doing that stuff, but this is just to record the facts. Yeah, it's true. I don't have a, uh, a problem uh, doing cleaning after my dad, whatever, assist. I'm without a job. They're paying bills and so on. I have the least problem with it. No problem at all. Uh, later on when these people leave, it's other stuff also that happened and so on, but I'm not going to go into it. There's just too much stuff to talk about. If I would want to talk about other issues, what I can say is they well inspected my spine, the condition of the spine itself. They well tested one. Uh, and I really don't take this as a, some form of free education or something like this. I'd rather take this, I'd rather see this in a different light. I'm really, really not impressed with it, it definitely is personal. 
Kapsch with Dr. Kapsch is like this with a psychiatrist Kapsch. Kapsch eventually stated me when I went with the mom as far as this products. And I already did state it that, I think in a previous video. Uh, if I would say inside of the store when mom would try to push me certain stuff that I was explained, demonstrated it's bad, it would be bad for me if I would con someone. If I would say to her, if she think that I am a uh, experiment animal or something like this, uh, that he would consider this inside of the store, therefore was observed also inside of the store. This is a store that is right next to his clinic we go to. Uh, that I am already at the last stage. As far as the hairdresser even, I'm going to tell you. During his visitations to his office, that he would even rate my father's haircut, if in case I would not cut his hair. I do trim his hair and everything. Dr. Kops, yeah. All right, let's just go to the issue here. I am going to use blank this page because it's so much stuff that accumulated over the course of the time eventually the stuff gave me trouble the main perpetrator the main problem maker of all this it was my niece and her husband they're the one they cook this shit uh, it was other people involved I eventually even believed they started to talk my mom maybe they tested her but they definitely tested me i don't know uh, it all started with a bunch of people around us on these trips walks during mk ultra uh, and even a police officer whom for whom i understand he committed himself to help us get rid of father the main jack for this operation would be a physician I describe one here physician 2010 was not physician yet she most have gotten her medical license in 2010 her name is Barbich I understand he insisted me under MK Ultra I would know her during crisis of father and if I would dare to mention any of stated here I would be destroyed on the spot uh, not only that I would be destroyed on the spot uh, a lot of other issues too here when it comes to this stuff here uh, insisted me that for mom insisted me on how mother and I will be left in peace for a while so that they would help us get rid of father uh, father that doesn't care about the shit he does unless he is on drugs basically heavy uh, heavily subdued on drugs this is how the shit started if i would go ahead and follow up on this thing all this stuff would end for me already prematurely i would not get anywhere and let me repeat to you because this was all the stuff that was engineered against me along this issue this was the main 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 thing this here so if you want to learn more about the stuff they prepared for me upon return from poland then this here is the stuff this is only however where i touch the stuff related to a physical health issues in which unfortunately also i was heavily brainwashed they brainwashed Ah, look, they brainwashed, let me demonstrate to you, so that I demonstrate to you how, let's say as an example, a, a perfect, perfect brainwash is done, okay? I am just going to demonstrate to you about the measurements. I am, this shit, I don't know anymore what to believe to tell you the truth. This is a gamma pix, this is a program that's used for the, like, total radiation, like, radioactive materials radioactive type of radiation they brainwash me also to do it 
Uh, to get this stuff done here, for one thing, you have to be connected to the internet and so on. And then what this stuff would do, it would eventually, after the measurement, uh, it would demonstrate to you exactly where the measurement took place and it would take like the nearest location. Um, there was some indicator there was like a low radiation here in this place but I don't believe it I don't believe it you know why because I was told by individual who brainwashed me with this program with this very program to do it that if I'm not gonna immediately post the measurements on uh, on the website they will do something to me and he said to me I will know when you have these measurements because that this is good this is the biggest secret that this is how it's done so they, they were like in a rush creating a fuck up a cluster bank cluster and oftentimes unfortunately i did i have fallen for that cluster and have used for that stuff a map which on upon each every measurement you take uh what this this thing will do is it's called gamma peaks uh, it will map your nearest location in area where for which it will say coordinates it will give the coordinates and it will say at your location however there was no or there was low radiation or whatever radiation uh, and he said to me we have wired your telephone this telephone is wired when I go when I walk it is it's exactly happening as they told me it's, it will be at a certain houses that played with the telephones they claim me they hack telephones from the politicians and stuff like this but it goes beyond that that includes the cables and stuff like this or whatever it is I don't know uh, you turn the light as you go from the telephone like this a light and eventually what's gonna happen is they manage to turn one off for this shit they have gone as far as insisting me that as soon as I, you get the measurement and that's why I also know that the whole thing is a lie I also know why they in respect to radioactive radiation inside of this place uh, they insisted me as soon as you get the measurement done we will know exactly what uh, that you know you already know what was done to you if you don't put this online we're gonna come and get you before you're gonna manage to put one online they basically hype and hype and hype and hype with their issues um, I wanted to give you an example of this stuff because I know I did probably made a mistakes here when I stated about certain things uh, in respect to Putin Vucic cancer related plan and so on I did mention the radiation I did ma probably mention the water and stuff like this that stuff in respect to the water and I think I did explain in a previous video they did brainwashed severely on that issue I cleared it out that the water there is nothing wrong with the water the only thing is the water when you use one you have to let one out of the cold pipe uh, sink uh, without using a heater a boiler to warm one up before you use one that's all I want to say watch this video if you want to know more about it now if I go back to this stuff here the idea was the best for me according to my knees according to my knees would be to actually get rid of father which help would be granted to us by barbage by this doctor that i mentioned here who was involved in mk Ultra before she even became a doctor at least that's what she claimed me uh, and that my father is doing crazy stuff unless he is on uh, drugs and so on and so forth man this is the kind of stuff that if you would go about and start talking about 
Also, it's the kind of stuff that I realized was a bullshit because at the same time I had a father who told me, if you're not going to listen to them, uh, if you're going to help me out, uh, then I will help you out and stuff like this. Um, and it goes down here with niece that went ahead and built uh, some kind of tree house for the children a beautiful tree house uh, they she incited on my cooperating with a mom and just keep quiet about the big portions of food that she gives him uh, pills and so on so in that way we would just as my niece stated me and my mom we would have a little bit more time left for us and the father uh, you actually can't trust him anything and this and that uh, this cluster this shit so twisted all together that it became more than obvious these people worked all together with one another um, now if I wouldn't have done what I did, I did place that stuff online that I did documented one and I'm placing that online. Um, the police officer who told me that this would be also that I would do the stuff in peace and this and that and so on. Let me put it this way. It's actually a real question what, how exactly I would be seen as. Uh, like I have stated, Kapsch, psychiatrist Peter Kapsch, eventually even rated my haircuts and stuff like that. It's coming to me now. Bizarre to think that I would go eventually and contemplate something against the father despite the fact that probably he deserves thousand years in a prison for what he have done however he have done on behalf of the state and it's something what the state officials in Ljubljana believe they're going to use for their easing circumstances in my case it was people like now interior minister it was a people like Borut Pahor who contemplated on using my father as a uh, life human shield if you want put in him if you're not going to do nothing to him you're not going to also touch us shit type of shit you see this is basically how this stuff was done okay this whole thing according to my calculation this was done to frustrate to destroy me to cause me as much as possible psychological damage in every possible way basically discourage me and from job applying for jobs basically from continuing my stuff and it is true um, the problem started every time on each occasion I would do and yeah this stuff here you see today let me explain something this is my response you know this is my response as I have stated you're gonna get a response on this here this was the last video it concerned my cousin and when they started to play with me again upon releasing this video right here on April the 4th I wrote it will be retaliation for this stuff and this is my response and I am not gonna go ahead and choose in between this here it's like this who's gonna pay for this house you're gonna pay for it okay I'm gonna pay for it how okay and if you're gonna publish this news if you're gonna use this news and then you know what's gonna happen then you're gonna have to marry my daughter ha 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 go ahead and publish this news and this is how that's gonna be yeah by the man and the lady that you see right there i like these people folks but the thing about it is not yeah the thing about it is that this here I'm gonna put it this way I have enough of it I ain't gonna take it anymore it was like this in 2009 in Bellingham in Washington State in the US it's like this now at age 50 almost
and it's this kind of stuff they were doing and it's that kind of stuff on the left I was doing in all those and then in 12 different countries I frankly I have enough of this wonder people this geniuses this smart people who are always right people who ask me in fact to take their disease upon my shoulders so they would look better in public I'm tired of it uh, the politic of Biden who already is close to three months inside of his office but would not contact me on a single occasion is already something that climbed out of my throat yeah I'm ready to vomit on a politic like this uh, he stated something about the Putin but you know words don't do shit for me in this situation uh, there is more about and I might actually even resort myself in the future in respect to that when it comes to Biden but this video actually really is response to your involvement into my stuff I do now this here this stuff here this is the stuff I do please you wanted to get this kind of stuff the deal you stated me for a half a billion dollar in Zakopanes in Noviturk from Merkel alone in year 97 was for me to prove that I was in Slovakia and Czech Republic and in Poland and so on and so forth dra, 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 dra. the shit this stuff turned into upon my collecting all these proofs here and there are many many numerous I did not even post here and this is all about the recognizing people and people recognizing me and buildings and so on and so forth uh, this is not nothing we have agreed upon I have demonstrated I was used as a human shield I was used as a bait for the worst Balkan gangsters from 96 so the Prince Andrew so the Prince Charles could demonstrate the capabilities the police capabilities to Croatia to the Eastern Europe and so on Berlin would take credit upon using me literally as a live bait you took it too far you took it too far and because you took it so far then we're gonna have to find different ways to get solution to this problem I am not gonna comply with anything you stated me under MK Ultra. all your conditions it's all a lie uh, I see it as a lie so that's my form of response to the BS on April the 4th 2021 and at the same time I would like to thank United Nations I would like to thank Amnesty International I would like to thank all Joe Biden like people who are sitting in the fucking dark spot somewhere in a whatever place hiding away from truth looking at the camera looking at the press lying in hope that something would go for worse with me basically with this last little trick on how to turn me against my mom and against my dad uh, truly truly people who made this stuff possible I don't know were committed to destroy these agencies for good uh, or what the goal is in it I am not following your gestures for help on how to get rid of my mom and my dad you screw me up everything not only health including family Yeah, 
is a copper bearing structure. Не може всички да бъдат много добре. Не, Ja se vedem. Dobro, poslušaj, jaz bom... Ne, rad bi še v sobo. Ja, se bom rekla, da je treba ukrati. Ja, sej sem rekla, da ne gre sem. Zdaj namer bo, jaz vem, kako ukrati rej. Eno plašo, vado not, pa se tam ne lahko dotrite. Če bo, 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 Slabo se počutiš, da se vidi. Noga te boli? Ne držijo. Ne držijo te noge oče? Ne. Jer vidiš, tu moraš hoditi pa tu. In to ni v redu, ne? Mi do z mamo niso vedno pogajali. Kaj ni sta vedno? Moško zdaj. Zdaj, ko bomo lepo zrihtali, pa jaz pa dal in tako naprej. Zdaj bo še boštjano. Vse boštjano je kaj, da jaz sem kaj. Zdaj bo, ki bomo reto pravi lepo. Na tej telefon, no, ne, ne se bo štrišo. Jaz se bomo dal tu sobo, jaz se bomo sobo. Jo, je meni sobo. Naš ni hod, kaj je, ima še potrat. Jo, je meni. Yes, sir. 
da ga bom jaz na pol gore zdegnil. Jaz mislim, da če ga bomo vsa opadali, da red mora nekaj čisto. Nikaj drugo zdaj ne mora. Ne, pa v bo. Nač ne bo pa v kambo, pa če ga jaz držim. Ok. Kako je red, ko je cipa? Ne mora. Ne mora, ko se se umil. Imaš kakšno pižamo, mami? Se ga jaz držim. Kaj je tako? Da bom pazil. Zdaj, To je preserovanje. Samo kaj je, ostani se. Samo. Ali pa za rečevce poprite. Samo kaj je. Dej, pojď. Tako je, nekaj je izpod. Boš tja, dej deko, pa ga bomo potegali. Deko, dej. Kaj je? Ne Torej, niso vsi enaki, ne. 
Kjepa, za res drugačnih, vse premalo. Torej, v tem, da če boš v umrstvu, da se boš v tiho prvo načuti. Korenito spremeniti sistem, ki je desetletja omogočal zlorabe, tako srednje levih, kot srednje in skrajno desnih vladavin. O, ne čisto, ok, ti bom jaz povedal, kako ga je. Zakaj Slovenija je prizelena? Ti pa tam na mer pol. Na mer pol smo mi neče pomagaš. Zdaj ta uvaga bo vaj blizrna. Kaj lepo prosim, lahko nehaš. Zdaj pa rečijo, če pokrič malo. Jaz sem te skozi govoril, da pet hodet, hodet in se kaj tega, nošeš hodet, jaz ne moram pomagati. Potem se pa vračati na druge, ali pa odgovarjati na druge. In pod nas recimo preko trgovinskega druženja, preko trgovcev, se z njimi dogovarjati. Če mene vpraša se bera, zdaj, tudi ni neč. Mora biti v čim večji meri možno recikljeno. Ok, pa bomo dobili tiste milijone, o katerih govori vlada, če obru se ne bomo postavili bolj okolj zarezanih projektov, kar očitno odkaže, je to največji problem. Zdaj smo mi zavrnili. Ja, v Sloveniji se premalo zavedamo, da samo žere na papirju niso dovolj. Če bomo hoteli črpati denar iz zelenega dogovora Evropske komisije, rabimo konkretne projekte, konkretne projekte z gradbenim dovoljenjem. Tu, kar se zdaj na naredo, je igra tvoja. Pa vidi, kar vidiš, da je tako projekti, ko ne bojte se postaviti. Seveda, da ne. Tako projekti bi morali že biti. Thank you. 
Naš pogled je, da se ne more niti promati. Tako pogled, tako je stvar je res. Kaj praviš? To je tista stvar, ni to na mizi. Ja, zdaj, da... 070, 74, 82, 39. Ni poten. Ni poten, pa tudi... Pa tudi normalno je zgorak. Ni ima nekaj. Ja, sigurno en uro. Ja. Ne, ti ne spaš stvarno. Ko spodilno ne pa tvojno tem. Ko ti ne čuti, ki se spodilno ne pa tvojno tem. Ko spodilno ne pa tvojno tem. Ko spodilno ne pa tvojno tem.
Kas jūs jūs nepinėjau atvišinėjau? Nekišim ir vorbą. Ne, 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 no bėdą. Ne, ne. Prav. Prasim, lepo prasim. Kaj jau prašo še? Če imam tu v družini hobit. Savo, savo, ej, kako si, slišaš, savo, kjer te boli, kjer te boli, kjer te boli, kjer te boli, Potem ne to delat, kaj zdaj delat. Dej mu okno vprej. Ti ne moreš dihat, praviš? Dihat ne moreš. Kje te boli? Kaj te boli? Kje te boli? V prsih te boli? Potem ima srčen na pot. Potem tudi dobi. Je rekel, kak časa bojo bodo vse potrebovali. Ja, prej bojo to šlišče. Poštar je treba stran potpeti. Kaj pa zdaj ti boš? Boš. Vse boš. Se bo zdaj zdravnik prišel. Veš? Savo. Zdravnik bo prišel. Si slišal? No, pa ne. Kaj pa delaš, mami, res? Zmešen aparat bi mi treba ven nekje, da ga na ozvuku. Še na drugo baterijo noten gledati? Ne, se mojo je zamenjala. Zdaj. Popovdne. Jaz sem si pa fina prav za tega. Verjamem. Ne bom zdaj tak malo še tega pustila. Zdravstvene karte so mojo videli. Pa povedemo boljočino v prsih. Ne, zdaj ga ga bojo itak prišli iz pršu po nebi. Ja, ampak lahko ne bojo kjer samo prinesel, ali kjer nas. V tem vzpravi. To imajo oni v avtu. Ja, in... Mene samo to bolj zanima, tale... Ja, 
lahko dihaš, ali ne moreš dihati? Težko ne znam. Težko dihaš? Že gre. In kaj te boli? Uštjan, že gre. A? Kje te boli? Kaj te boli? Povej mi, kje te boli? Boli? Tukaj. Kje boli, povej mi. Noter te boli, ali je? Kako? Pa boli je te tam? Ne, ne boli je te tam. Pa te je bolelo? Ne. Kaj pa tukaj odspade, tukaj pod rekami, kaj te kje boli? Tukaj, tukaj te boli kaj? Tle not. Kaj pa tukaj na tej strani tudi? Te te malo manj. Kako? Malo manj. Malo manj? Tukaj te pa tle tle pa zelo boli, a? Tukaj noter? Te ne boli. Tukaj te boli? Ja. Kaj si pa jedel ti danes? Kako? Mleko pokvarjeno. Mleko pokvarjeno? Ne, da je nekaj pomleko. Kura si jedel? Pomleko pokvarjeno. Ne, ti nisi jedel kure, ne da bi jaz vedel, da si ti kura jedel. Kura sem jaz ti jedel. Si pil kofe danes? Si pil? Si pil kava danes? Tu mi povej. Si, ok. Ker imaš pod pazduho pravo, že te boli. Tukaj te boli, pod pazduho. Tu imaš ti nekaj drugega. Tu boš prežil, tu se narabil bet. Samo... Ja. Mam jaz masko tukaj, ne se bo. Dobro, daj mi jo. Kaj je prav? Kaj je rekel gospod? Upremo jo še še dolo.
je zelo bil responsiven. Tu smo ga recimo vlekla. Recimo, če bi mu samo malo mu izdekca prišla tukaj na obraz, pa je bilo takoj, ja. Se pa da je vedel zelo dobro pred stvari, kako je in kaj. Zdaj, tak se nam kar. To, kar smo zmerili, je vse normalno. Recimo, tako, ko ga pogledaš, se mi zdi popolnoma tako kot žedno. Vendar, da smer se pa zanemar tukaj. Zdaj, da se malo vse. Tako meni je res. Rekaj, da na nogah, da ni ga moglo držati na nogah. Tako mu je ime. Savo. Da pa sama dema se malo vse. Vse je na sarova. Probi se vse. Zdaj. Ole, še malo, za nas se. Ne, ne bo lahko odla, ne bo lahko odla. Kako kaj boli? Povedite to se, da nas se boli. Boli? Kolk. Kolk boli? Kje boli kolk? Tole? To? To na rašišče misi, tole, ker je to točno. Nižite? Ne, kot in gor naraščejo misi, se pravi ta rob, kjer naraščejo misi se. Tole, ne? Pa to. Ja, se ostal, da imate skoji. Zdaj ima se ostal. Kaj se rača? Hopala. Hopala. Tole. Tole? Kje boli? To? Ali bolj to? Kje boli? Tole? Pa če bod responsiven, ker tu ni mama, nisem jaz, povej odgovor, te ljudje so v službi. Kaj bo lev tole za boli, če je tam na rašišče boli, če zdaj tu? Kaj je? To boli. Se pravi, da tu je živ? Tole ja. Se je nasegnil, ker je prav, verjetno. To je nekaj čudga, ampak to boli. Kaj boli to? To? Tole? Ampak ker se pipi ne pije. Stramal. Tu ima skušt dovoljeno. To, skušt ne dovoljeno. Ampak veš kaj, Kuštijan, zdaj kar on več kot liter čaja na dan spije. Ja, to seriozno spi, ne gleda kot se je. Tole, ne? Tam, tam. Ja, to je bova, da si mrdi. Jaz ne vidi, da je nič posebno, ne moče gledati, če on to normalno radi. Ja, jaz ne tako kot vi, jaz manj vem od tega kot vi. Ja, vi ga poznate, vi ga vidite, kak je, jaz? Jaz. Samo srečo se, jaz ne moram biti, kak je on bil prej. Prej tako ni bil. Ne, tako ne bil. No, lahko se je gibo v bistvu, ne bom rekel, tako kot jaz. Lepe popovdne se je šla kode. Popovdne, ki je bilo šonce, sem razpravila, ven se je šla mogoče en kilometr. Ne vem, če je. Tako da ni v takem stanju. In je nazaj prišel v redu. Kako me je udaril? Kdo vam se je udaril? Ja, zrobno je. Kaj me? Zdaj, rebra izpod. Ni več pa, ni nekje. Ne, mogoče je prepustila. Ne, mogoče je prepustila. Kaj se je povada, ko gre na vado? Mrditej. Kaj se je povada? 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 Posišiš na mesto, da jim se zapatije. Jim se zapatije, to tam, ko vidite na rašče, na pustil, da se je nadrali, da je preforsiril. Da se je na forceru, preforceril. Če me dite, ne bolijo. Trebuh ni boleč. Kozi so simetrični. Za vse te je red, da pa tisem naš ostane, stoji, neološka in pokaže se jaz. Od glede, kak si bil pa on prej mentalno, pa pa je to pa jaz ne moram nocijati. Po povdne, proti večeru je on govoril z nebeno. Ej, sem mi povedal, kdaj ste rojeni. Rojsem dan, kdaj imate. Rajsko, prezgo, dva in trideset. Res je, res je. Kaj pa danes, kjer dan je? Kjerga leta smo? Tisoč dve, sto dva in trideset. Ne, ne, zdaj kjerga leta smo, danes. A, danes? Ja. Leta. Ne bo vedi. Ne bo vedi. Ne. To ni vedi, da je prej. To že prej. To že prej. Veste, kako je to? Počka samo. Oprosite. Ja, ne. Ne, ne. Ne, ne. On je, on je, on je, on je. E pa kaj je zdaj? Poletje, zima, jesen, pomlad. Kaj je zdaj? Kjer letni čas je? Letni čas. Ja. Kjer letni čas je oče? Pomlad. 
Mnogi bi še, jaz sem ti govoril, da če ne bo hodil, če se ne bo gebil, če ne može... Ne, on je bil pred... Vse, jaz sem tega v bliska. On je bil pred dvema letima. Ne, ne. Jaz ga hočem skozi z njim hodit, vejte, zdravilo ima močno. Ne zdravila štok. Jaz vem, da v teh letih, ko je, se mi zdravili, ki jih ima, da se je treba za življenje boriti. To ne, to ne. To je osebni zdravnik in dolek. Prosim? Osebni zdravnik in dolek. Barboričeva. Lejte, da vam smo govorili, ob šestih me je poklikala. Barboričeva sem je, na vločno. Ja. Ob šestih me je poklikala in me je vprašala, kako je, ker sem rekla, da naj mu pritiskli merem, pa da me bo nazaj poklikala in me tudi poklika. In me pritiskli me v redu. Če zdaj je vse v redu? On za nazaj vse ve, pač... Če bo pa njemu nastavil, to da ne more več mentalno razmišljati, ne treba niče naločni pregled, potem je pregled kot psihijatr. In se da včasih zadevo ne pozdraviti, ampak to čas ni. Če pa je kaj neuroločeva, če pogledate, kaj manjka, se da tudi narediti, ampak to treba narediti. To ne more od enca. A lahko sem trenutno? Povejte. On je bil pred dvema letoma na srečo in je bil prva leto v Mizani. No. In je bil v Ljubrani na operaciji in je uspešno ta operacija šla. Pisala sem pa doktor Kakša pred štremi dnevi, pa sem mu povedala, da občasno malo z medeno govori in je rekel, da to ni demenca, pač pa je znak. Zdravljamo, Če se nekaj metalno stanje slaška, on rabi diagnostiko. To je dejstvo. Kaj bote pa vi naredili, pa jaz ne vem, jaz sam to ne možem naredi. Jaz vse, jaz vse razumem. Pa danes smo mi dobili tudi dva nezavestni. In so aktivirali nas, se pravi, od veliki pozor življenja. Ne, jaz sem povedala, da je ni. Niče počnete, da je ni nekaj. Ali se stalo? Jaz sem se vesel, ni rekel to, da je gospod neodzivan, da diha, ampak da zdaj da kot mrtvi. Tako je bilo. Jaz nam nisko smeti. Mami, 32-ga katerega mami? 11-ti peti. 11-ti peti. Kar kaj, no? Jaz zdaj ne vidim nič, da je bilo do organiko. Kar po, jaz pač vsej ni, kaj bo se zdaj na ura to? Dva dni ne vedem. Zdaj jaz to vidim, da bi tako oddelali in pa sigurno ne pregled rabi. Tako to je... To je pač na vas, da to zdaj tako. Ja. Tudi pregled ne dobi zdravnici. Tudi, ja. Najlepa zdravnica nazad ne vidi. Ne vidi nekaj. Ja, prvo prvi dom je toliko naprej, ne? Ne vidim, da sem to kaj tu pogaljala. 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 Je že vse v redu. Jaz sem njegov sin, Bošljan. Ne, se mislim, da sem vse prčival že. Ok. 
Okay. Uh, zvlášť si môžete jedným zvonieť, čo sa teda tu mým, čo je video, čo je, čo má pozitívny opak. Tu treba povedať, ako zrádi, čo nemá to svetlo súčasný, a to vidíte, aké rádi to sú. To je nekým to, len pre tie rádi. Zalba. Ze zrovníkom, ze zrovníkom, ze zrovníčom by to vyšlo ja, opak. Ja, vnútra sa nejo pogleda, pa ne vidím, koľko na prejme teda sa si ne mýte. Ja si nekým zmením, čo ne vidím. Neviem, kaj bo te zveuri, ale tieto mi pa zdaj ne vidím za dveža, za odmenit na zdravím, kaj sem okolo vodne v bolnico, da prejme daj koronu. To če ne je bilo koroni, da ne bi videl. To če bi tu starstvo zahitno, pa nemo bi tu na sam bolnici. Tudi jaz nisem, tudi jaz moram povedati, ne vem. No, mislim... Jaz ne vidim, veď, če vas dolgo vam pravi, vi ga vidite vsak, da ne zavidim smrdečen pa prejme. Vidite, da sem meritev ste v pravo. Kako je bilo meritev, prosite še enkrat? Kjerga, sprate napisano. A ja, tako kaj je napisano vse. Vse imate, stoperacije imate, puls imate, tlak imate, svetlo imate, temperaturo, vse imamo. Vse je normalno. Objektivno je samo bolečina od posterior na spina ili ako superior, posterior. Toliko na račin se ni, če so kratni dobil. Ampak to, kaj si tudi govoril v prsi, da reče imel. Ja, pa zdaj ni bolel, v tesni to odpočni, ne zbolelo po zdrav, ne smo bolelo. A lahko še enkrat jaz njega vprašam, glede tega tam, da če se ga dotakne, tam pod pas do to. Ja, sem ga, tesni ga pretipil, bo pas do to rekel ne, da ga sem tukaj. Ja, to je tega tega, da to bo ostala. Tega ga sem pretipil in... Ne vem. Ok. To drugo je pa na vas, to, ker mentalno ima, so pa videli. Jaz ne bom nasi vratni po tej starosti, Oče, kako se počutiš? Kakšno je stanje? Ti povej. A si boljši? Kako bi ti ocenil sam za devo? A gre to v bolnico? Skusam dobro. A bi šli v bolnico? A greš v bolnico? Bi šli v bolnico? Ne, bi šli v bolnico. Moš se zbi povej. Lejte, jaz sem povedal, tako kaj sem mogel, ne sem vse se povedal. Zdaj, 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 Če pravi, če zdaj na stran glavo, jaz ne vidim nič drugega. To, ko se pa on, kak je pa on mentalno, pa kaj je bilo ti, a je bilo nečo, možete bolj povedati. Jaz za nazaj ne bom dneska. Na stranišu je sedel, pa je bil vse... Ja, kaj povedal, ne bom še enkrat kozi, če bo šel, če bi se zvedel nezavestno, pa ne odzivan, to kaže vklik, da je ne odzivan, nezavestno. Nezavesten v bistvu, ki je nezavesten. In nezavesten po mojem, ker sem mislil pazil, ni bil. No, kaj ti ste bil sam? Sam je izjavil, da je bolj, in se je tudi najpšil. Ti si rekel, da je tudi najpšil, ne? Ne, jaz nimam kaj od oče, to mi... Gospod je pravi, da se lahko korona, da bi se pravi, da... Ja, vidim. Zdaj je še kaj. Bo pa res problem, da je bilo. Niko ne ga vem, kaj je bilo. Zdaj ga morda ni, pa bo pa res, ne?
Uh, this stuff was recorded on January 11, 2021, and it's exactly what I anticipated the case is going to be. I did not have a good measure, but when they came here, everything they measured was completely normal. Um, I knew this is going to be, and the people that were here, they were already here. They repeated the situation, and they told me that this is how they're going to get Kapsch, psychiatrist, back in here. Because Kapsch was the one who uh, was in charge for me through psychiatry. This is a totally psychiatric case, the whole thing, from A to Z. So there you have it. We orchestrated that. My father, nevertheless, also stated me in MK Ultra that if I'm going to make a problems, he's going to literally shit in pants. This is also the stuff. It didn't happen once, but that's okay. I don't have a problem doing that stuff, but this is just to record the facts.